Hello grade 9 students! So, I'm back again. Itutuloy natin yung pagsagot sa inyong mga learners packet. Okay? About solving problems involving parallelograms, trapezoids, and at kayak. So, ilalagay ko sa description box natin or sa comment section natin yung link kung hindi mo pa napanood yung mas nauna kong video about sa topic na to. So, now let's have the question under a simulation part. So, the first one is this. A table plot is cut into a parallelogram in which two opposite angles measure 8x minus 22 degrees and 5x plus 14 degrees. Find the measures of all the angles. So, let us draw a parallelogram para ma-visualize natin yung problem. At merong binanggit na opposite angles. Yung opposite angles daw natin, ang sukat ay 8x minus 22 and 5x plus 14. Now, ang question, you need to find the measurement of all the angles. To find this, we need to apply the properties of parallelogram which is the opposite angles are congruent. So, meaning to say, yung angles dito at angles dito dapat pareho ng sukat or equal. Therefore, using these properties of pra parallelogram, we can say that 8x minus 22 is equal to 5x plus 14. So, i-equal lang natin sila itong isang angle which is 8x minus 22 and yung isa pa na 5x plus 14. Equal kasi nga they are congruent according sa ating property ng parallelogram. Now, Let's solve for our x. So just uh, isolate this 5x or move 5x to the other side. At magbabago yung sign niya, magiging negative. So that's why we have 8x minus 5x is equal to yung 14 as is lang na nandito. Pero madadagdagan tayo ng 22 kasi minove natin yung negative 22 to the other side at naging positive na siya. Then simplify. 8x minus 5x is 3x. Then, 14 plus 22 is equal to 36. Next, we need to divide both sides by 3 to get our x. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1 na lang, or is simply x na lang dito. And 36 divided by 3 is 12. So, therefore, our x is 12. Pero, ito na ba yung sagot sa problem natin? Okay, let's review the question. So, find the measures of all the angles. So, hindi naman tinatanong yung x. Ang kailangan at alamin natin ay yung sukat ng ating mga angles. So, gagamitin lang natin itong nakuha natin value ng x para makuha yung mga angles natin. Now, let's substitute this x doon sa mga given which is itong una muna 8x minus 22 papalitan lang natin yung x ng 12 so 8 times 12 minus 22 so that is 96 minus 22 the answer is 74 so ang angle natin dito is 74 ano kaya sa palagi nyo ang angle dito sa 5x plus 14 Okay, that's correct. 74 din. Kasi opposite angles are congruent. Kung gusto nyo, pwede nyo rin i-review. Palitan nyo yung x ng 12. 5 times 12 is 60 plus 14. 74 din. So, equal din sila. So, yung dalawang yan, ang sukat nila ay 74. Ang tanong naman, ano yung sukat ng dalawa pang natitira na angles? <laughs> So, remember, consecutive angles are supplementary. Ibig sabihin, equal to 180. Or, ayong consecutive, pag sinabi natin consecutive angles, yung magkakatabing angles ay 180 dapat pag pinag-add mo sila. So, para makuha natin itong angle na to, we can uh, say that this is the angle, so unknown angle. So, we just denote it by N. They know walang angle dito. Plus 74 is equal to 180 kasi nga supplementary. So therefore, to get the missing angles, we have to subtract 74 from 180. Okay, so 180 minus 74, the answer is 106. So therefore, yung ating dalawa pang natitirang angles dito ay 106. I-check natin, 106 
plus 74 is 180. And dahil ito ang opposite angle niya is itong angle na to, 106 na rin yung measurement niya. Okay, pag pinag-add mo rin yan, 74 plus 106, 180 pa rin. 106 plus 74, 180 pa rin. So, na-solve na natin or nakuha na natin yung mga measurement ng ating angles. 106 and 74. Number 2 question. One lateral face of the roof of the school building is trapezoid in shape. One of the bases of this trapezoid is 6 meters longer than the other base. Find the length of the two bases if the median measures 29 meters. So, mag-drawing tayo ng trapezoid. So, yung bubong daw ng school building ay trapezoid. At, yung kanyang mga bases, sabi, 6 meters longer than the other base. So, yung isa x, yung isang base is x, and then yung the other one is x plus 6. Kasi, 6 meters longer. So, mas mahaba ng anim dun sa isang base. Again, yung isa x and then yung isa pang base is x plus 6. And ang median natin ay 29 meters. Ang hahanapin natin is yung length ng dalawang bases. Okay, so i-apply pa rin natin yung formula sa pagkuha ng median. That is 1 half times the sum of the two bases. So i-substitute lang natin yung mga given dito sa ating formula. Yung median natin is 29. So, that's why we have 29 is equal to 1 half. And then, yung dalawang bases natin, ano yung base 1? X plus yung base 2, X plus 6. Simplify muna natin yung mga nasa parentheses. Kaya itong X plus X ay 2X plus 6. And then, may 1 half kasi tayo dito. Para matanggal yung 2 sa ating denominator, we have to multiply both sides to 2. So, 2 times 29 is 58. Tapos ito, matitira na lang dito is yung 2x plus 6. Then, simplify na natin. So, i-move lang natin yung 6 to the other side. Kaya magiging negative. 58 minus 6 is equal to 2x. Simplify. 58 minus 6 is 52. Then, equal to 2x. And we just need to divide both sides by 2 para makuha ang x. 52 divided by 2 is 26. So therefore, our x is 26. So ano ba yung x natin sa ating trapezoid? So ito, yung isang base natin is yung x. At nakuha na nga natin yung value niya which is 26. Ngayon, ano naman yung isa pang base? Itong x plus 6. So I-substitute lang natin yung nakuha nating x dito, then plus 6, or dagdagan lang natin ng 6 yung x na nakuha natin. 26 plus 6 is 32. Therefore, the other base is 32. So, i-review ninyo, pag-add nyo yan, 26 plus 32, so that is equivalent to 58. 58 divided by 2 is 29. So, therefore, tama yung inyong answer. Okay. Next, how about the next question? A rectangular garden has a perimeter of 62 feet. Its length is 5 feet less than twice the width. What is the area of the garden? So, sulat muna or mag-drawing muna tayo ng ating garden. At ang perimeter niya is 62 feet. Yung perimeter. Pero, Ang given is yung bukod sa 62 feet na perimeter niya, given din yung kanyang length. So, yung length daw niya is 5 feet less than twice the width. So, therefore, yung width natin is yung x. Tapos, yung length is 5 less than twice the width. So, itong x natin, dodoblihin natin, kaya merong 2x. And then, less than 5. Okay? Pag sinabi kasi natin 5 less than Ibig sabihin niyan, huli mong isusulat yung 5. Hindi yan 5 minus 2x. Okay? Huli mong isusulat yung 5. Okay, so 2x minus 5. Then, ang tinatanong is yung area ng ating garden. So, 
Pero bago tayo pumunta sa area, tignan muna natin yung X. Kasi kailangan makuha natin yung X eh, para makuha natin yung mga exact measurement ng length and width para makuha na natin yung area. So, ang perimeter natin sa rectangle is 2 length plus 2 width. So, i-substitute lang natin yung ating mga length and yung ating mga width. At at the same time, yung ating perimeter, which is 62. So, ang perimeter natin is 62, sinubstitute lang natin, then 2 times yung ating length, which is 2x minus 5, plus 2 times yung ating width, which is x. So, isolve na natin. Ito muna, 2 times 2x is 4x, then 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Then 2 times x is 2x. Next, we can add similar terms, yung 4x tsaka 2x, pwede natin i-add yan, 6x, then minus 10. Then, let's move negative 10 to the other side, magiging plus na siya, para maiwan lang yung may x. And 62 plus 10 is 72, then equals to 6x. Kailangan maiwan ang x, kaya i-divide natin both sides sa 6. 72 divided by 6 is equal to 12. So, therefore, yung ating x ay 12. So, itong isang sukat natin or yung width natin is equal to 12. Paano naman yung length natin? Ano pa yung sukat niya? Ang gawin natin is i-substitute lang natin yung nakuha nating x dun sa given length. So, ang length natin is 2x minus 5. Palitan lang natin yung x ng 12. So, 2 times 12 is 24 minus 5. So, that is equal to 19. So, therefore, ang length natin is 19. Next, nasagot na ba yung question? No. Kailangan kasing hanapin natin yung area daw ng garden. Eh, hindi pa naman natin nakukuha yung area ng garden. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na ito yung answer kasi ito ay perimeter. So, ang gagawin natin, i-apply natin yung formula ng area ng rectangle which is length times width. Ipagmumultiply natin yung length and yung ating width. So, 19 times 12, the answer is 228 feet squared. So, feet yung given natin na unit of measure and this is area, that's why we have to put square. So, nasagot na natin yung problem number 3. Next, number 4. So, a tabletop is an isosceles trapezoid in shape. The median is 5.5 decimeters and one of its legs measures 1.5 decimeters. If one of the tabletop bases is 1 decimeters more than the other, find its perimeter. So, ang hinahanap naman dito ay perimeter. So, drawing tayo ng isosceles trapezoid. At ang median niya ay 5.5 decimeters. Ito siya. At yung kanyang legs ay 1.5. So, ibig sabihin 1.5 na rito kasi eh. Ang isosceles kasi congruent ang kanilang legs. And if one tabletop basis is 1 decimeter more than the other. So, ibig sabihin mas mataas ng isa. Deci isang decimeter yung isang base. So, yung isa x and then yung isa x plus 1. Kasi mas mataas ng isa. Uh, mas mataas siya ng isa dun sa ating isang base. Okay, nagigets ba? O nagugudulad? Okay, again, ang uh, tabletop basis is 1 decimeters more than the other. Kaya yung isa x, and then yung isa x plus 1. Kasi mas mataas yung isa ng 1 dun sa isa pang base. Okay? Now, hanapin daw ang perimeter. Pero pag bago yun, kailangan muna natin makuha yung x. Kasi na x, x, hindi natin alam yung exact basis. So, applying the formula in median, one half times the sum of the basis. So, i-substitute lang natin yung m natin. Ang median is ito, 5.5. is equal to one half times the sum of the two bases. Yung unang base natin is x, and yung pangalawa is x plus 1. So, i-add lang natin, x plus x is 2x plus 1. 1. And then, may 1 half tayo. So, para matanggal yung 2, or mas mapadali na tayo, i-multiply na natin both sides sa 2 para ma-cancel na yung 2 or matira na lang itong 2x plus 1. So, multiply mo rin to sa 2. So, magiging 2 times 5.5 is 11. And then, ito, maiiwan na lang yung 2x plus 1. Then, simplify. 
So, i-move natin itong 1 to the other side. Kaya magiging negative. So, 11 minus 1 is 10 and then equal to 2x. Then, we need to divide both sides by 2 para makuha ang x, maiwan ng x. So, therefore, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Ayan. So, yung isang base natin is 5, tapos yung isa ay 6. Kasi yung isa nga mas mataas ng 1 dun sa isa. So, 5 yung isang base, then itong isa ay 6. Tapos, pwede na natin makuha ngayon ng perimeter. Sa pagkuha ng perimeter ng trapezoid, i-add mo lang naman lahat ng sides. Ito, anong sukat nito? Nabanggit ko na kanina na ito ay 1.5 kasi equal lang siya ng ang another leg. So, i-add lang natin lahat ng sukat nila para makuha ang perimeter. So, 5 plus 6, 5 plus 6 plus 1.5 plus 1.5. The answer is 14 decimeters. Okay? So, ganun lang. I-add lang natin siya. Next, nasa last question na tayo for our simulation. The area of the paper used by William in the making of his kite is 84 square inches. And one of its diagonals is 2 inches less than the other diagonal. Find the lengths of the two diagonals. Okay, so parang ang gulo. Okay, pero madali lang yan sa kite. So, ang formula kasi natin sa pagkuha ng kite is 1 half times the product of the two diagonals. Pagta times mo yung dalawang diagonals and then divide by 2 or times 1 half. Sulat natin yung mga given, yung area is 84 square inches, tapos yung isang diagonal is x, and then yung isa x minus 2. Bakit naging x minus 2? Kasi binanggit dito sa problem na 2 inches less than the other diagonal. So yung isang diagonal is x, and then yung isa mababa ng dalawa dun sa isa pang diagonal. Kaya, x minus 2. Now, isubstitute natin itong mga given sa ating formula. So, 84 is for area and equal to 1 half times yung ating first diagonal, which is x. I-times natin sa second diagonal na x minus 2. So, multiply lang natin. x times x is x squared. Then, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And then may one half dito, or simply divide by two, or multiply natin sa two both sides, para matanggal na yung one half. Ma iwan na lang yung x squared minus two x. So two times eighty four is one hundred sixty eight. Then is equal to x squared minus two x. Paano na to may x squared? Babalik tayo sa quadratic equation, de ba? So, x squared minus 2x minus 168. Okay, ito, move lang natin to the other side, kaya naging negative siya. Negative 168, then is equal to 0. So, paano mo ngayon makukuha yung x nito? I may x squared. So, pwede mong gamitin yung quadratic formula if you want, pero kung po pwede naman ng factoring, pwede mo nang gamitin ang factoring dito. Kasi may factors naman ang negative 168, na pag in mo equal sa negative 2. Ano kayang factor ng 100, negative 168? Okay, pwede natin gamitin yung negative 14 times 12. Kasi negative 14 times 12 is negative 168. Then negative 14 plus 12 is negative 2. So pwede negative 14 and 12 kung gagamitin mo na factors. Pero hindi pa dyan tatapos, you have to equate both of them to 0. Pag in-equal mo to sa 0, ang x na natin ay 14 at yung isa pa nating x is negative 12. Okay? Siguro naman, alam nyo na to yung sa quadratic equation kasi ang tagal nating ni lesson to nung first quarter, di ba? Puro tayo quadratic equation, quadratic function. Kaya sana natandaan nyo pa or magamit nyo pa rin dito sa area ng kai. Now, bakit itong 14 lang yung merong highlight? Bakit hindi parang hindi ko kasama itong negative 12? Okay. So, it's about measurement. Yung tinutukoy kasi natin dito is yung measurement ng kite. At lagi nang tatandaan na sa measurement, walang negative. So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung negative 12. Ang pipiliin natin na factor or value ng x is yung positive lang. 
So, itong 14 ang positive. Kaya, yung 14 ang pipiliin natin. Okay? So, therefore, ang x natin is 14. Now, that we have this 14, pwede na natin makuha yung ating diagonal. So, ang diagonal 1 natin is x, x, meaning, yung first diagonal natin is 14 inches. How about yung diagonal 2 natin, o yung pangalawang diagonal natin, so, bawasan mo lang yung x ng dalawa. So, 14 minus 2, so that is 12. So, meaning, ang ating diagonal number 2 is 12 inches. Okay. So, medyo ito lang yung mahirap-hirap sa number 5. Kasi, uh, babalik ka na naman sa nakaraan. Alalahan mo na naman ang mga nakaraan para masagutan mo itong uh, problem number 5. Pero, hindi na. Hindi naman mahirap. Kaya-kaya mo naman. Basta, kung makalimutan mo, pwede mo namang i-recall or i-review. So, may mga videos din si Teacher Vina. Napakarami kong videos din, di ba? About quadratic. Para naman, di ka mahirapan dito sa kite. Okay, so ayan, nasagutan na natin yung mga problems under assimilation and I hope na natuto kayo sa pakikinig ng explanation or solution natin sa mga problems natin here. And don't forget to subscribe uh, on my channel kasi marami akong ginagawang videos related sa mathematics. Kung may mga suggestions kayo, feel free to say that on our comment section. Willing makinig sa inyo si Teacher P. And wag mo kalimutan na i-share to sa iba kasi mayroong iba dyan na hindi rin alam ang gagawin. Hindi rin nila alam or naiintindihan sa module lang. Mas naiintindihan nila pag may explanation sa video. So, makakatulong to sa iba kung isi-share mo to sa kanila. Okay? Follow me also on my Facebook page, the VTeach channel. Kasi dyan ako nag-upload or naglalagay ng mga updates. Alright, so see you again sa so next video ko. And for now, let's take a rest and goodbye!